Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to the SOE Community Webcast. Today our topic is EverQuest 2 with Game Update 63, Sky Shrine. How exciting is that? I am really jazzed about it. Uh, with me today we have Dave Smokejumper Georgeson. He is now the Director of Development. That puts him right next to, I don't know, Godzilla or something. Uh, and he, he, he oversees the entire... Yes. <laughs> He oversees the entire EQ franchise, which includes EverQuest, EverQuest 2, and the upcoming EverQuest Next. So really happy to have him here. And uh, also joining us today is Kyle Valley, also known as Kander. Now, he has just been newly promoted to the position of assistant lead designer. So congratulations on that, Kyle. Uh, so how long have you been at SOE? Uh, it'll be 11 years this year. Did you start in design or did you start somewhere else? I came here to be a designer and started out as a GM. Like wow. Pretty much a lot of other designers. So. That's terrific. So now they gave you this promotion, this great new title. Did they actually give you an office as well? Yes. With a door that closes and everything? Yes. <laughs> See, now that's living the high life, I can tell you. So let's get on with the Sky Shrine coverage. <laughs> this is going to be part one of a series and it's a very high level overview so we're not going to take any player questions today. However, there will be a part two, and for that one, we will collect up player questions in advance and present them to the devs. A little bit about the history of Destiny of Velius. I mean, it's been going on for a really long time in the EQ2 franchise, and uh, talk a little about why we are doing this expansion-specific update. Well, sure. I mean, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people out there have already heard most of this, but I'm sure it's also new to some people. We, we started out with Destiny of Velius. Um, uh, Destiny of Velius was originally supposed to be two parts. Part one and part two, and they were supposed to be two different expansion packs. So we were going to do the giantish half of Velius as the first expansion, and then the dragonish half of Velius as the second expansion. All right. Yeah. Um, and then we got to talking about how we really wanted to deliver content to players. And one of the things that came up was uh, that we didn't really feel good about charging twice for Destiny of Elias. It felt like it should have been one thing. It was a huge continent the first time around with EQ. And we decided we really wanted to make that stuff included in the original price. Um, so what we did was we, uh, we committed to uh, uh, several more GUs to tell the second book in the two book chapter of, uh, of the Destiny of Elias and the Ages in Prophecy. And so that's what we're doing right now is we're picking, it's been, uh, when we went through to the Rallo Zek stuff, that was, uh, the death of Rallo Zek was the end of book one. Mm -hmm. And now we're starting book two with Withered Lands and Sky Shrine. Well, I can tell you, I was at, at Fanfare when the players were discussing this, and they all said, yeah, right, like they're going to give us that stuff for free. I'm I know, we never get any credit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so for all of you naysayers out there, here it is. It's free. It's coming in these game updates, and it is awesome. I don't know if you've had a chance to try it yet, but you really, really, really need to invest in this expansion. Velius was one of my favorites from old EQ as well. Sure, everybody loved it. Yeah, you guys really captured the spirit of it well. So what are you hoping that players get out of it in all? I mean, is it just is this just ongoing content to keep them interested? Oh, no, heck no. I mean, there's a huge story. I'll Kyle, Kyle tell you all about the, the Sky Shrine stuff, but Destiny of Velius is the ending chapters of the whole Ages in Prophecy, which has been going on since... Forever. What's the one before? Um, Ages. Uh, yeah, anyway, years. So it's been going on for years, and, um, uh, and it got told through the Sentinel's Fate stuff, and then we started it up again with Destiny of Velius, and it ends, the Ages in Prophecy ends with the end of Book 2 in, in Destiny of Velius. We've been really open about that, but we're not really telling you how that's going to happen. No, of course not. Where yeah. would the fun be in that? Well, we know. <laughs> All right, so one of the things that we've heard lately is a lot of discussion about the play your way philosophy. Kyle, can you tell us a bit about that? Um, yeah, we're just trying to make content for everyone. Well, I mean, as much as we can for all play styles. We're trying to focus on having good storytelling throughout all of the styles of play. So if you're a solo player or you're a small group player or you're a, you want to do heroics, you want to do raids, we're, we're really making an effort so that the storyline, which is very rich throughout this chapter, um, is being told at all levels. Um, we have a history of sometimes the raiders get the, the big story arc and, right. and everyone kind of gets to be part of it, but they don't get to see the flash and boom, and we're trying to go away from that to where everyone gets to see the, 
the big stuff. And the flashing boom this time and is the, good. And the flashing boom. <laughs> and the flashing ah, boom they're this not going to tell you good. anything about that. <laughs> well, why would we? I mean, we're just about to release it in less than a month. That's right. It's still on target for April 17th, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's really terrific. <clears throat> and uh, so can you tell us a little bit, Kyle, about Withered Lands? Uh, Withered Lands is the, is the overland portion of this, of this game update, and it's the predominantly the solo you know the solo area there are, there actually is um, group content and raid content in weathered lands um, which is something That's we've gone back to we used to have a, a mix and we kind of went to where overlands were for solo content but we're right. trying to like like I said in the beginning we're trying to give everybody um, stuff to do so it's the beginning of the storyline it's you're you're coming to weathered lands is the original awakening lands which you sm saw a small portion of um, when you went behind Kale Dracal. Right. This is the rest of, of Wakening Lands, which it's a land that's been, its inhabitants have been, feel they've been abandoned by uh, Tunare, and so it's changed. Yeah, here it's a lot. become all twisted and dark now. It's parts. And, uh, There's a good story in that overland, too. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we have some, we're really concentrating on the story, and we're really concentrating on giving everyone the story. Um, so you will all be a part of it. There are poignant moments. Yeah, I mean, like when Nipic died in the, oh, in the yeah. original. I mean, lots of people like felt that. They felt it emotionally, and and we realized that on the team that that was a really good thing. So we. And it's something some that's time. missing in a lot of uh, in a lot of MMOs. Actually, I find I play through them and no longer read the text. So well, I'm yeah. always looking for something like yeah. this. So what about Sky Shrine? What can you tell us about that? Clearly not everything. <clears throat> yeah. Well. There are parts of it that are the original Sky Shrine. If you played EQ, you'll remember some parts of it. But the predominant sections are a forbidden city that no one ever saw that has inhabitants that you have yet to meet. So um, it's in a state of, we'll say, unrest. Right. <laughs> well, maybe unrest. No, not unrest. Way. And not befallen either. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's being attacked. And... Uh, there's a there's a very big storyline there and and why it's happening. It was protected by ancient magics for time out of mind and something. Look, we can't tell you the cool stuff without spoilers. Right. And it's really cool stuff. Yeah, I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. Going no, I can't say. Well, let's let's uh, just talk a little bit about the fact that I, I know a lot of players were initially concerned that it's gonna that Sky Shrine would be for raiders only, but I hear that's not the case. So we've done something that we've never done before. We went in and we created the content um, at all levels. So we have... we have, Really? Like solo? We have heroic instances that are also challenge heroic instances and are also solo heroic instances. Wow. Uh, well, solo instances. So the, they're actually more duo instances. They're designed so that if you're... If you're, if a, you're that good, if you're a bad arse, you can go in there and solo, you know you want to try. solo, yeah. solo <laughs> your rear end off. Um, if you want to take another person or a mercenary into the into the instances, you can. You're free to do that. There's also going to be some new mercenaries hidden around Sky Shrine uh, that you can earn, unlock through quest content and story progression and stuff like that. We've we've really tried super hard to put in all the bells and whistles so there are drop quests storyline quests and in-game events collections, that, that happen everything. as well now are these scripted events <clears throat> that occur yeah there's a couple big big story arc events and there's <laughs> we we are we we still have a bunch of polish to do but assuming the polish is there I don't see why anybody wouldn't call this some of the best content in the game I mean it absolutely is some of our best stuff that's awesome. And free to anybody who actually owns the Destiny of Velius expansion. Yes. Wow. All right. Well, that counts me in. Uh, the last thing we want to talk about today is the level cap increase. Now, it's just two levels, and it started out engendering a lot of controversy within the community as we, mm -hmm. as we watch this. But everybody's coming around and saying, yeah, that's actually a really good idea. What was the theory behind it putting in two additional levels? Well, we're trying to... We're trying to set parameters and we're trying to bring our player base to a unified area where we have a better understanding of their power and what they're capable of. We're uh -huh. also trying to do that through itemization and uh, adding in the new prestige abilities and stuff like that. When we set, when we set this parameter and we say everyone's going to come to this area of 
power and, and ability, then we have a better understanding of where everyone is and we can better create content going forward uh, for those people. So we had, we had kind of a disparity between the casual soloer and the highest end raider that was Quite large. Yeah, there, there were so I've really many variables that, yeah. with the, the, all the wildly varying AAs and what gear you had and everything like that. There was no way to, to look at a person and say, well, you're that level, so you're that power. There's no way. There was no way. Right. right. Now this is a big reset switch kind of thing. So who was doing exactly all the math right. for you guys on this? I mean, did you have some massive spreadsheet or how did you handle that? That's a huge undertaking. We have... Math. Ways? We yeah. have math people. Top oh, math men. people. <laughs> Top <laughs> men. <laughs> oh, that's terrific. I'm really looking forward to seeing how that plays out. And uh, that's it for us today. I know some of you guys are going to be disappointed because the things you want to know about additionally are things like prestige classes, in-depth, trade skilling, what's going on there? Well, Lots. on the next webcast that we have, on which we'll have Akil Hooper, also known as Lindro, or, and uh, Holly Windstalker, they will be uh, they'll be here to talk about that so you'll have to tune in then and make and we will ask for your questions in advance of that webcast so we expect that one to go a little bit long thank you all for tuning in today thank you dave georgeson and kyle valley for joining us and giving just a little bit more information on game update 63 uh, really looking forward to seeing all of you guys in sky shrine see you later sony In fact, let's be cussing when it comes back. Oh, <laughs> Just say when. Okay, okay. So, you know how when you go to the movies and there's always this after the credits thing? That's what we've got right here because apparently Dave wants Skander to tell the story. All right, let's hear it. Oh, my God. What are Look, he's not going to say a word now. Which, which, which story? Which story, playing? Dave? All I, said I all I said was, I wish we could tell the story. Oh, come <laughs> on. That is the worst tease ever. You can tell a little So a little bit of the story is that Sky Shrine is inhabited by the Claws of Vishan and their inhabitants, and they are being uh, invaded by the Legion of the Awakened, which are the minions now touched by Karaferm and inspired by Karaferm, who did some pretty diabolical stuff in the end of Sentinel's Fate. And... Uh, they're after certain things, and we're bringing in lots of dragons. Lots of dragons. Lots? Oh, yeah. Like, do you want to give a ballpark figure of how many is lots? A lot of dragons. Well, I guess, com I guess compared to um, <gasps> the, the first of the chapter game? of Velius. <laughs> Oh. Did, did we blue screen? Did we just blue screen? I didn't do it. You're really? Sure. They oh. cut off in the middle okay. of the story? Okay. Okay. That's no, so no. awesome. <laughs> no, no, no. Because what these guys, we're actually still on. Oh, we damn. are still on. But on our side, the monitor shows the blue screen of death. So, oh. yeah, that could have gone very, very badly. <laughs> so, I guess the answer is, when you ask how many dragons, it's, we, in the first chapter of Velius, we had two. So, yes. it's exponentially more. Exponentially more. <laughs> There's a lot of dragons. Well, there you have it. There's your extra little bonus piece of information. And you will actually get to see. We can't interact and meet and do quests and talk to and interact with dragons. <sighs> I Plus, love it. Even and dragon some. kin. And and possibly even what, Dave? We'd fight some. Possibly oh yeah. Or some. be completely one shotted. <laughs> <laughs> and, or um. Yeah, and, and we have some new flying mounts and some new cool, there's all oh, kinds yeah. of stuff. Lots of armor, lots of new armor. You guys armor, have been waiting for dragon stuff for, for forever. Forever, and yes. here it is. <laughs> lots of new armor appearances and weapon appearances. And see, he's not going to stop. I could just see Holly on the other end going. <laughs> <laughs> and we better shut up soon. <laughs> okay. Thank you again, guys, and thank you for staying tuned in while we went through that. I really appreciate that, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Sizzle. Sizzle. <laughs>